Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are back with another reaction. This one is to Game of Thrones History and Lore Season 1 Full in Full HD. Why did you, know you say surprise. like that? <laughs> Come on. Sorry. Why did you Bad say like that? It's a long one, sorry. As you can see, obviously there's a different setup. Um, obviously I don't live with the boys so and you guys were shouting at us to kind of react to it so we thought we'd get in it we get on it sorry and react to it obviously we're gonna do, be doing a lot more reactions well not okay game of thrones reactions are always gonna be in person okay let me not say always just in case but for the most part we try to make in person as much as possible but we're gonna start doing some more online reactions so this is our first time doing it so obviously cut us some slack give um, us some feedback as well Give us some feedback as well, yes, on what we can improve and how we can improve. Um, but um, before we start, as always, we would like to give a shout out to this subscriber. If you're not already, it's something that we do every single episode. We shout out to one out of our new subscribers. So yeah, if you want to be the chance to get a shout out to one of our videos, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We do these videos every single week from movie reactions, anime reactions, anime openings. And over our Patreon, we release them one week early and we release the full uncut reactions. So yeah, make sure you go over there and subscribe. And make sure you come down here as well and subscribe, yeah? Subscribe. I'm trying to get to that 100k, yeah? So make sure you subscribe. But apart from that, let's get into this reaction. You've been hounding us for this, so it better, it better be good. In the dawn age of Westeros, before the coming of man... Oh, wait, shit. No subtitle. And now we start. The Children of the Forest, the first men and the Andals by Bran Stark. Bran Stark. Oh wait, Bran, Bran Stark is narrating the whole thing. Bran. We got Bran Stark narrating the whole Bran. thing. All right. Bran, when he was smaller, he was like, just a cute little boy. Like, oh. In the dawn age of Westeros, before the coming of man and the raising of castles and cities, there were only the Children of the Forest. Little is known of them now, but it is said they were small in stature, dark and beautiful, and no taller than children when grown to manhood. Damn. They lived in the depths of the forests and hidden villages, crannies and caves. They hunted with rearward bows and armed themselves with blades of obsidian. Okay. Obsidian? Their wise men were called green seers hey. and were possessed of green seers. They worshipped nameless, faceless gods of the forest. You don't do that. Scary, blasphemy. We don't do that. It was they who carved faces in the great white troughs of the majestic rearwards. Mm. Their deep cut eyes were red with sap and ever watchful. Twelve thousand years ago, the first men came from the eastern continent. Okay, so this is about the first men, where they came from. Riding their great horses and wielding mm. weapons of bronze, they cut down the children's forests and rearwards. A terrible war raged between the children and the first okay. men. A war between children and men. Come on they now. stink. And it lasted centuries. You lie, you guys are bombs, man. The bombs, man. They met on a small isle in the center of a great lake called the God's Arm. It was there they forged the pact. The first men would be granted dominion over the coastlands, the mountains, mm. the high plains, and the bog. But the deep forests would forever belong to the children. Oh wow. And no country okay. would ever again fall to man. So basically, they had to cheat to win against children. The Isle of Faces. Oh wow! This is why I, oh. hate, this is why I hate humans. So even care. This is why I hate humans, bro. Damn. Centuries of war followed, and the Andals conquered every kingdom in Westeros, save one, mm -mm. the North. Mm. King, King of the North. The King of the North. Descendants of the first men dwell there to this day, and continue to worship the old gods. As for the children of the forest, those who survived the slaughter were said to have fled far north and have not been seen again. Most have seen their long dead, and some don't believe they ever existed. Oh! Oh wow! The bloody face. The children went up north. Mm -hmm. That's why there is that wall. I think the children are the niggas. Do you get what I mean? Mm. You what? don't get what I mean. They they black. <laughs> no, like you black? know the way there's the obviously the 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 wall separating yeah. mm -hmm. 
again the children at the remember at the start of the show we Ooh. literally saw children dude yeah 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 the children at the start of the show the ones that died that wait wait which ones are you talking about the ones above the wall like like where the savages are yeah oh I thought you meant the children at the savages oh I'm no, I think the children's. The reason why the children are there is because of the, whatever happened here. Yeah. Mm. Like the the men actually the, the um, persecuting them. Mm. Or some shit, or type shit, or something like that. <laughs> the Age of Heroes. The Age of Heroes by Bran Stark. By Bran Stark. I'm guessing this is how it started. He has seven kingdoms to contend with. Aegon the Conqueror. The Kingdom of the North. Kingdom of the Mountain and the Vale, the Iron Island, the Kingdom of the That's Rock, a, that's where Theon Kingdom is from. The, Reach, the Iron the Island. Mm-hmm. He's a bum. Thousands of years before. Okay, so the first man did the Seven Earth. Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. One hero of this fabled age was Bran the Build. Bran the Bran. Bran raised the wall and built the stronghold of Winterfell, establishing House Stark and reigning as the first king in the North. King Damn. of the North. Other legends tell of the Grey King in the Iron Islands. Greyking took a mermaid wife and defeated Naga. A mermaid. Sea dragon. House Greyjoy of Pike. A sea dragon. Current rulers of the region. House Greyjoy. Right? Descend from him. House Casterly ruled the gold. Casterly Rock. Rock. Okay, so the these are how all the sections the were built, power basically. Was swindled from them by the legendary trickster, Lan the Clever. The noble house of Lannister is said to have descended from him. Mm. The clever the makes sense, man. The fertile lands of the Reach were first ruled by House Gardner, whose founder, known as Garth Greenhand, wore a crown of flowers and vine. He ruled from High Garden as the first king High of the Reach, and was said Where's to have the land bloom. Many noble houses trace their bloodlines back to him, including the current lord of High Garden, House Tyrrell. Tyrrell. House Tyrrell. House Tyrrell. According to Ballads of oh. the Age. Dorian. Okay, so this is basically how they were um, made, the seven kingdoms. Hey, she gave her maidenhead to him, committing herself to a mortal life. Do we believe this, though? No, this is how it is. It is known. <laughs> it is known. Damn. Darren declared war on the gods and rebuilt his keep, which was also destroyed. Bro thinks can war against. You bum. <laughs> You peasants. Huh? Of course he did. Pussy. Storm's End. Storm's End. With her, with her Storm's End, have we? That's where... I just made, I just made that up in it. I definitely just made that up. There are countless other tales from the Age of Heroes. Too many to count. These histories weren't recorded in a book. Yeah, I was about to say, a lot of these things sound similar. Or a lot of these places sound similar. Like, they have similar names. And while some of them may be dismissed as fairy tales... But the thing is, bro, the nurse did she has a dragon now, so all of this could be true. Mermaids and stuff. Targaryen, there we go. By Viserys. Viserys. In Westeros lies the smoking sea, where no ship dare sail. There are those who swear it to be demon haunted. Mm. Who's to say they're wrong? Well, it was there thousands of years ago that a cataclysmic event occurred. Cataclysmic is crazy. I'm going to put that in my arsenal of words. The precise details of their origins are lost to us. But it is said that These are about dragons, isn't it? A modest community of shepherds That's so tending their flocks on a small peninsula of the great Valerius, Valerius. One fateful day, in a volcanic area known as the 14 Fires, they made a shattering discovery. Oh, no. A dragon egg. Oh, dragons. that's... How is that? Monstrous, scaled creatures mm. with ah. massive wings, sharp claws, and fiery ah. breath. Ah! I got that dragon. Ooh, ooh. You got that dog. I got that dragon. Tame. I thought it was Targaryens that owned the beasts. Unlike any before or since, they became skilled at sorcery and metallurgy. Try creating uncommon weapons of spell forged steel. Spell forged. That's the sword that Brody has up in north. Oh, Valerian steel. Yeah, John, John, John. John Valeria. Snow. At the time, the Giscari Empire dominated much of the Great Eastern Continent, 
and tried to stop Valyria's expansion. The Giscari legions attacked the Valyrians five times, but could never defeat them. Yeah, I'm dragons, bro. Bro. dragons, bro. What do you expect? You guys stink. Capital, old Gis, and obliterated it. Of course. Turning its streets and buildings to ash with dragons. That's crazy. Yeah, that's cheating, bro. <sighs> bro, having dragons is actually a cheat code. It is. Then imagine when um, Daenerys grows her dragons up. That's what I'm saying. She can do a madness. In the known world, with its own language, gods, and culture, the Valyrian's reach extended far and wide, covering most of the continent. Okay, so where did Targaryens come from then? Cities were built and roadways paved, all of which led back to Valyria. Mm -hmm. The freehold would prosper for nearly five thousand years. Yeah. Damn, it's a long time. Okay, who, who's who's messing it all up? Known only as the Doom, laid waste to the Valyrians, their capital city, and its surrounding land. Man said meteors. The peninsula itself was shattered, becoming what is now the Smoking Sea. All right, bro. Every dragon was thought to be lost, as were the Valyrian spells, knowledge, and recorded history. Thus, the mighty empire. Did that to meteors? Well, well, meteors, like you know, our meteors meant to. Destroyed dr uh, dinosaurs and shit like that. Type shit. That's ridiculous. Dinosaurs still have to exist. Others say the Valyrian's own sorcery the big world, got the better of them. In any event, the Doom's devastation of the Valyrian people was total. With the exception of a small rocky island in the Narrows. Hold, Hold on. Dragonstone. Yay. For it was there the Targaryens, the last of old Valyria, dwelt. Oh, so the Targaryens are just a... Um, Subset of Valyria. Oh, this is what, what he. Westeros. That's yeah. when they. Okay, that's how they went to Westeros. The history okay, of cool. the Night's War. That is making more sense. That's what. Just, um, Sir, Sir Momont. This is their scene right, that they always say. Yeah. But now it's making more sense. Basically, they. You know, they got. They, they got destroyed, but Targaryens were the only ones that were there. And then the Targaryens obviously a subset of Valyria. Is the and they and Dragonstone is their stronghold. Dragonstone is their stronghold. From this day, to my last, last night. night. Okay, bro. <laughs> what? The White Walkers. Here we go. Damn. Necromancer. Yeah, they're shooters, man. They don't miss. They're shooters. Oh, wow. Scary. They're just zombies, bro. Let's be real. Master Jin Wu. The children and the first men. Mm. Damn. No. I wonder what powers the children have. The first men erected the wall. Mm. Mm. A massive fortification, Damn. 700 feet in height, stretching from the Frostfang Mountains in the west. I know niggas ain't built up, by the way. So, uh, that ain't fooling fool me. That's crazy. The world building in Game of Thrones is actually crazy if you think about it. Bro, they didn't build that shit, man. <laughs> oh, giants. Oh, they don't Magic know of, how the, do it. of the children. Men were required to guard and maintain it, and thus the night's watch was born. Fair enough. A sworn brotherhood, tasked with defending the realms of men against the dark forces that lay beyond. Vows, yeah. A brother of the night's watch serves for life. That's crazy. It is a life of hardship. That's crazy. So the oath must not be taken lightly. It's death. It's death. Oh, yes. Wow. That's if you find me. <laughs> into three vital branches. The rangers, the builders, and the stewards. No, stewards, you're a bum, man. 
you had to be a steward, bro. Imagine sitting on your bum eating. <laughs> the Rangers are the real shooters. Everyone else is a side man. Wild links, yeah. Wild links. That's that's that guy with the wives, isn't it? As his daughters. Yeah, he's one of them. Mm. Stewards, servers, cooks, butchers, and hunters. That's insane. They tend to the horses and messenger maids. Imagine doing all that and you're, you're, you're turning to a cook. And bring supplies up from the south. The Night's Watch is a diverse group. Proud volunteers from noble houses stand side by side with petty thieves conscripted from dungeons. Crazy. Class distinctions are left behind as are. A man gets what he earns on the wall. Mm. And even the lowliest gutter snipe can rise up in rank if he proves himself worthy. Ah. For thousands what does that entail, though? Proving yourself worthy. <laughs> you have to be a shooter, man. As the seasons change, you can't prove yourself you worthy by cooking. Be a yes, man, bro. Trust me. It always works. Don't ever ashan the master. Low, whatever of the 48 laws of power. It works. We are the watchers on the wall. We are the watchers on the wall. We are the nice watchers. The guard the realms of men. Alright, bro. Like, I'm yet to cool. see anything that History is endangering us. Nice watch by no, what do you mean? Did you not see those, the, that, that flipping guy? The, nice watch or the, blood. the guy that he took that child. A voice voice. This is a powerful voice. Well, it was in the north some 8,000 years ago. Michael, what did you say? He has a powerful voice. Erected a wall and established the sworn brotherhood Pause. that would guard the realm and its people <laughs> from the dangers beyond. Regrettably, oh, but this is someone that would read your uh, story, the isn't it? Mm. Respect, like, you know, the audiobooks. While House Stark and other houses in the northern regions continue to recognize its vital importance oh, to so the So these, these generations are being there for time. This view is not shared by the powerful houses of the southern kingdom. They don't want to change yeah, their name or not, bro. Exactly. Most regard the watch as a misguided, obsolete order made up of useless outcasts. Chai. Damn. Admittedly, the current Night's Watch is a shadow of its former glory. Yeah, it doesn't have the same, it doesn't have the shit as it used to have. All you have is just Let's random people. Less than a father. Seen as a holiday, man. Shadow Tower, Castle Black, and East Watch by the Sea. Oh, shit, there's only three castles the working. The mandate of adding to the wall has been abandoned entirely. Damn. There are barely enough resources to maintain it. Damn. The struggling, bro. Known as wandering crows, scour the dungeons and slums of the realm in hope of finding men to fill the ranks. That's crazy. While there is still the occasional high hall volunteer, the new recruits are almost entirely made up of lowly criminals, thieves, rapists, and murderers, Damn. sentenced to the wall as punishment for their crimes. The decline of this once fabled order is troubling, as the danger it guards against is all too real. While the White Walkers have not been seen or heard from in ages, mm. they may very well be the stuff of myth. Barbarian tribes that dwell beyond the wall, known as wildlings, have been a menace to the North and its people for generations. At certain points in history, the disparate wildling tribes have united behind a single leader. Hold on. A king beyond the wall. Ah. And attempted large-scale attacks against the realm. But thanks to the resourceful and courageous men of the Night's Watch, these so-called kings were sadly defeated. While many have lost faith in the Night's Watch, the people of the North are steadfast in their belief that the Black Brothers will answer the call of duty. Yes, sir. But with winter coming, Black diminished brothers. numbers, and a lack of widespread support, will they be ready? I want to take the Black. I want to be like your Uncle Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Prophet. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Army of demons emerged from beneath the icy ground 
and spread darkness and despair across the land. Astride their monstrous spiders, flanked by giants, they wreaked havoc on the innocent, slaughtering thousands. All hope was lost until the fearless warriors of the first... Yo, they're glazed on the night's watch, bro. They love it, Glazing. I'm still yet to see anything. Honestly, Glazing. Like, Double I'm twist, so like you man are doing too much, bro. I've seen people doing Stop stuff out of the walls. I've seen, I've yet to see you lot actually protect anything. There are bombs as well, bro. Bro, bro, y'all won't do nothing, man. Y'all talk. Oh damn. Damn. As for the night's watch. There may have been a time centuries ago when there was prestige and honor in the miserable monastic. Yeah, but now it's just a bunch of fucking. But now, yeah. The wall has become a glorified penal colony. Damn. Of yeah, that's where they send all the people that. Are, that's basically a death sentence. Today, a typical man of the Night's Watch most likely started out a lowly beggar, a rapist, or a village idiot. Damn. As for the few highborn watchmen. They either fought on the losing side of a war or were disowned by their parents for one reason or another. Yeah. It's pretty much right. In other words, everyone's a bum. The Night's Watch will claim the Seven Kingdoms need protection from the wildling tribes of the far north. But there's little to fear from those primitives. Primitive. They're a nuisance. That's crazy. They're not sophisticated or powerful enough to be a significant threat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't underestimate them like that, man. I don't even know who they are, but... With their armies of the dead and their giant spiders Fairy tales. and their snarks. Yeah, this guy just underestimating everything. Talk. Damn. They all got on Brand's tag. Who's Kathleen Tully again? That's the mum. Oh, God. Oh, that's the mum, yeah. Ah... First brought to its shores by the Andal some six thousand years ago. But there are some who still keep to the old way. Worshipping the faceless gods, the children of the forest, and the first men. The old gods are countless, nameless spirits of nature. From ancient times, the children of the forest carved faces in the trunks of the weary trees, which became sacred symbols of their faith. In time, first men adopted the children's gods as their own. Most castles at that time contained a god with a weirwood or heart tree at its centre. Meanwhile, across the narrow sea, a new religion was born in the hills of Andalos. Mm. According to legend, the god of seven revealed itself to the Andals, right, bro. and the invasion of Westeros followed soon after. The Andals sailed across the sea on ships armed with weapons of steel. Who the hell are the Andals? Some warriors carved a seven-footed star them. into their skin as a symbol of their new faith. The invaders destroyed most of the weirwoods in the southern lands, slaughtered the children of the forest wherever they could find them, Damn. and conquered every kingdom of the first men, Try. save the north. Bro, these children will be fighting for their life. Abby, every time people just come at them. They even do nothing. A single deity with seven aspects, each symbolizing a different area of life. But most people refer to the seven as separate gods. The mother is prayed to for mercy and watches over fertility, childbirth, and peace. The father sits in judgment over souls. The warrior is prayed to for protection, valor, and skill in battle. The crone. Is the of okay, so they are seven different ones, different uh, abilities, I guess. Creation and craftsmanship. The maiden symbolizes purity, love, and beauty. Mm -hmm. Finally, death. There is the stranger. What? The stranger? Huh? Pray to, who represents death. Child. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why would you pray for that? Organized and deeply influential in Westerosi politics and culture as the official religion of the monarchy. Worshippers gather in temples of the faith called sects. The seat of the faith is the great sept of Baylor, which is located in the capital city of... Kingdom. So this is a church, basically. Still, in the north, where descendants of the first men dwell, worship of the old gods continues to this day. 
in the sacred faces of the weirwood trees. Why it looks scary though? Yeah. Alright, bro. The All right, bro. Of fire fire. Robert! I forgot his name is Ned. Chai. Damn, bro. Four thousand. Damn. That is like a. But having a dragon is OP, man. Fight, fight, fight like a man. Let's drop our weapons and start throwing punches. Let's see who wins. That boy is scared. Bro, rightfully so, man. I'd be scared too. Come on. Oh, by bend the knee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As the king who knelt. The king who knelt. Oh, wow. As the king that's who knelt. Thing, he still saved it? life, For man. Real. Yeah, that's dumb, bro. You gotta think about the a bigger picture, man. One by one, their so-called kings were bending the knee or Damn. facing the wrath of Aegon Targaryen. Sorry. Aegon of old Valyria. Aegon who was blood of the dragon. Ah. After defeating the Iron Man at Harrenhal and slaying the last of the Storm Kings, Aegon and his sisters, Rhaenys and Visenya, set their sights on other prizes. The gold mines of the rock and the fertile lands of the reef. King Lauren Lannister of the Rock and King Mern Garden Oh, Lannisters. Foolishly mm. thought their combined armies could beat back the Targaryen host. Bro, they have dragons. Are we not... Are they just forgetting about dragons? <laughs> like, you're not going to fight them with spears, bro. You need a whole... Bo bo in, bo bro, in an open field as well. Yeah, you're stupid. 60,000 60, people. The yeah, quality over quantity, bro. Yeah. First and only time. Each beast was named after the Valyrian gods of Aegon's forefathers. The senior rode Vega, the senior, whose mm. fiery breath could melt armor. Vega, that's insane. Ramus, rode Meraxes, Meraxes, that's Meraxes. a sick name. Meraxes. Enough to swallow off Meraxes. Whole. Greatest of all was Valerion the Black Dread. With Damn. fire dark as night and wings so huge, whole towns were covered in shadow when he flew over. Bro, Damn, and you want to fight this too. guy? Four thousand men were bathed in glorious dragon flame that day. On what Why did you say like that, though? <laughs> Just say they got killed, man. Was among the dead, and House Gardener died with him. His stewards, the Tyrrell. Surrendered his ancestral stronghold of High Garden to Aegon, and were appointed Lords Paramount of the Reach and Wardens of the South. Mm. When Lauren Lannister witnessed Mern's fate, he wisely bent the knee. Of course, he Damn. Aegon spared Lauren's life, and the Lannisters were made. You're actually not too bad, though. Westerlands and Wardens. He just want like to take over. He's sparing people. Yeah. After his triumph on the field, he doesn't pack up everyone. Aegon's conquest was assured. In a short time, the so-called Seven Kingdoms were, were melted down in the heat of the dragon's flame and transformed into a single realm. Ah. <coughs> Aegon would forever be known. Aegon the Conqueror. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shooter right there. That's a shooter right there. That's a shooter. No nonsense. I'm taking my three dragons and I'm dropping everyone. At the mouth of the river Honeywine lies the great stone city of Old Town. It is home to the Citadel. When men and boys from throughout the kingdoms come to receive their training as maesters. Maesters play an integral role in Westerosi society, serving as scholars, healers, and advisors to the nobility of the Seven Kingdoms. This venerable order of learned men dedicate their lives to serving the realm and are sworn to occupy a neutral position when it comes to power and politics. Upon completing his training at the Citadel and taking his vows, 
A maester renounces his family name Damn. and takes a vow of celibacy. Chai. Oh, wow. He is assigned to a castle or keep. Chai. And duty bound to serve as its counselor and healer. Even if control of the castle changes hands, a maester's allegiance is to the realm, not to any one family. Mm. His badge of office is a great chain forged from links of different metals which he wears around his neck. It is a reminder of his role as a servant of the realm and is never to be removed. Damn. A maester forges his chain with study, and each link represents the maester as a delivery of messages throughout the land. There are some maesters who have earned a link forged of Valyrian steel. This signifies knowledge of the higher mysteries, commonly known as magic. Only one maester in a hundred possesses such a link. Damn. This spear of study is frowned upon by many in the world. Magic, you know. It is possible magic may have existed for a time and long ago, but most consider the higher mysteries to be long gone from this world. Service as a maester is a noble calling, one of vital importance to a prosperous realm. It is little wonder there are some who refer to the order as the Knights of the Mind. Okay. Mad That's King, the yes. Mean. I've been wanting to know about this guy. As were the Canaries erratic and troubling behaviour. That nigga too clean, man. Kings. I go like. <laughs> He's too clean. He's Bro too takes clean. after Joffrey. Joffrey takes after him. Father of four children, his daughter Diana was engaged to Robert Baratheon, mm -hmm. the mm. young lord of Storm's End. Mm. Centuries of peace between the North and the Iron Throne ended the day Rhaegar Targaryen, Prince of Dragonstone, abducted Diana. Why did you do that? Enraged, Brandon Stark rode to King's Landing to Brandon Stark. the release of his sister and ah. the death of Rhaegar. Ah. Aerys arrested him for treason and called his father to come to the capital to ransom him. When Lord Rickard complied, Aerys, now utterly mad, arrested him for treason as well. What? Uh -huh. This guy's not okay. Lord Rickard demanded a trial by combat. Aerys declared fire the champion of House Targaryen. Oh, and wow. had Lord Rickard suspended from the rafters of the throne room while pyromancers lit a blaze beneath him. That's Why insane. Not so. Brandon was brought into the throne room. A leather cord attached to a strangulation device was wrapped around his neck. Aerith no wonder it's called the Mad King. His father was a dead man, but there was a chance to save him. A long sword was placed on the floor just out of Brandon's reach. And the more he struggled to reach it, the more the cord tightened around his throat. Chai. That's insane. Brandon Stark strangled himself trying to free his that's oh, insane wow. roasted alive in his own honor. that's insane the entire court stood and watched this atrocity this is what they were talking about Sir James Lannister including the king's guard among them jeremy lannister the mad king was reported to have laughed hysterically and that's insane this guy is a monster man before. let's not get it twisted is that's a sister right Uh-uh. Bro, what the fuck? He said word to Lord John. He's just trying to pack up everyone. Both young men of the eerie to apprehend them. Instead, Lord Rebellion Edward joined houses Stark and Baratheon in rebellion. Yep. Robert vowed to kill Rhaegar Targaryen and get his beloved Lyanna back. Ah. Mm. <sighs> Mad King Eris, Robert Baratheon talking. Eris Targaryen was the last of his name to sit on the Iron Throne. <laughs> Why do you say like that? Far and wide as the Mad King. His was a reign of instability and terror. Mm. The Seven Kingdoms are well rid of him and his kind. Lol. Look how he sounds. He's like Black Hat would speak as well. Ruler at first. But that was due in no small part to his counselors, led by the hand of the King Tywin Lannister. Tywin. Mm. There may have been years of peace and prosperity during Eris' reign, but it was Tywin who was really running the country as mm. Eris spiraled further and further into insanity. Into insanity. The dragon spawn were famous for losing their minds. 
It was the price they paid for centuries of keeping the bloodlines pure. China. And Eris more than incest, nigga, just say incest. <laughs> sister fucking tradition. The Lannisters Crazy. know more about that. Crazy. As the years passed, Eris' behavior became increasingly erratic. Damn. He cut himself so often on his iron throne, many referred to him as King Scab, though never to his face. That's crazy. It was rumored he had developed an obsession with wildfire and was known to inflict horrific punishments on those he considered enemies, including burning them alive. Oh, that's insane. As his paranoia and bloodlust grew, he had a bitter falling out with Lord Tywin, who had served the crown faithfully for 20 years. Stop. Mm. At least Tywin was able to leave the job with his life and fortune. I be that's it? fair. You actually, mm. you actually so got lucky. You can't be fine with bro. Weren't so fortunate. Talk to you me about Jamie, though. The Targaryens went too far. Jamie. The crown prince Rhaegar abducted Lyanna Stark. That's the guy that was going to become the... The Lord of Winterfell. Yeah. She was my betrothed. Mm. She was my beloved. Mm. Mm. Beautiful and spirited woman. Mm. And I loved her more than life itself. <sighs> yeah. That's crazy. Rhaegar went south with Lyanna, hiding her away in Dawn. What harm he inflicted on the poor girl, the gods only know. Brandon Stark, Lyanna's eldest brother, was outraged. He but I say the same story again. From a different perspective. And yeah. demand his sister's safe return. Instead, Eris had him executed. His mm. father, Rickard Stark, as well. Oh, wow. Mm. There wasn't much left to discuss after that. Eris feared their loved ones would seek revenge for what he did. He was right to be afraid. Hey. We're coming for your head, boy. We're coming for your head, boy. The heads of Brandon's younger brother, my friend, Ned R. Stark. Mm. And my head, too, of course. I'm sorry he didn't come looking for it himself. Hmm. Hey. Alongside John Aaron of the Vale, the man who fostered Ned and I as children, Baratheons, Starks, and Tullys all called their bears. Damn, everyone came for his head. Once our rebellion began, the man... Imagine being there right, raising your banner, man. Yeah, man said his days are numbered. Damn, Damn everyone trying to, everyone seeing their perspectives. As Aerys and Targaryen's behaviour grew more and more erratic, the task of ruling the Seven Kingdoms fell to me, Tywin Lannister. Mm. I had served Aerys for nearly 20 years, and as a result, the realm had prospered. The royal coffers were full, the land was at peace. So he was the one that's yeah. taking but care of most of it. increasingly mm. hostile, jealous of the success many credited to me. Eesh. My power and influence. Oh, so that's why they fought. The mm. captain of my personal guard, Sir Elin Payne, was once overheard making offhand comments regarding who was the true ruler of Westeros. That's crazy. Shy. When the king was given this information, he had Elin Payne's tongue ripped out with hot oh okay, gosh. Gosh. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Okay, it was bro. my desire to unite the houses of Lannister and Targaryen through marriage. My daughter Cersei would marry Aerys' eldest son, Prince Rhaegar. Oh wow! Such okay. Made perfect sense. Oh, so no, Rhaegar was meant to marry yeah. Cer Cersei. Was meant to marry Rhaegar. Senses had begun to leave him quite some time earlier. Instead of uniting the royal family with its most loyal and powerful ally, Aerys chose instead to insult my family, Shy. indicating that such a match was beneath Rhaegar. Oh. Instead, he chose Elia Martell of Dawn to be Rhaegar's wife. As if to well, rub salt in my wounds, Ares appointed Jamie, my son, to the King's Guard. Huh. The King's Guard may be an honor for lesser families than ours, Yikes. but it is a lifetime appointment that forces him to renounce all family holdings. Oh. Yes. Oh, so he couldn't take over um, after his. Yeah, and oh. Attack, so couldn't name someone. He's, he's sneaky. Guys hate him, bro. He's sneaky. my post as Ares' hand and returned to Casterly Rock with my considerable forces. I hear it. When Robert Baratheon rebelled against the throne, Ares 
Kennedys grew fearful that I would join with Robert's forces and rise against him. He thought himself clever and kept Jamie very close as if mm. me. He sunk deeper and deeper into the youth, paranoia and violence. I've heard it said he became obsessed with wildfire. Yeah. A substance which once lit cannot be extinguished. Yeah. Deep. That's crazy. Since he had enemies all around him, he wouldn't allow blades in his presence, save for those of his king's guard. Alas, that proved to be his undoing. Yeah. It's going to be Jamie. Oh. Hashtag Gareth is a very vitality. Viserys. Which one's Viserys? Which one's Viserys? Viserys. Uh, is Viserys? I um, think he's the nearest brother. brother. The nearest brother, yeah. The Targaryens yeah. are blood of the dragon, descended from the nobility of ancient Valyria, a once mighty empire in the east. When the cataclysmic doom laid waste to Valyria and its people, the Targaryens survived, having settled on the island fortress of Dragonstone years before. They remained there for a century until the rise of Aegon the Conqueror. Aegon the Conqueror. Instead of attempting to reclaim the eastern lands of his ancestors, Aegon sailed west to the Seven Kingdoms, his sisters Visenya and Rhaenys at his side. To keep the bloodlines pure, Aegon continued the custom of his Valyrian ancestors and took both of his sisters to wife. All right, bro. Together, they came ashore on the eastern coast of All right, bro. Their blazon, a dragon with three heads. Representing Aegon and his sister wives. Great Their words, fire and blood. Sister wives is absolutely egregious. Westeros that awaited them. Aegon and his sisters had a secret weapon. Dragons. The last of the dragons. Come on, man. That's not even a secret weapon, bro. How can you be? How can you have That's secretly like a dragon. bomb, bro? How can you secretly have we um, dragons, bro? Had the swords of his enemies melted down by the fiery breath of his dragon, Valerian the Black Dragon. Valerian the Black Dragon. The, Iron Throne. Yeah. the capital city of King's Landing was built on the eastern coast, where Aegon and his sisters first came ashore. And Aegon ordered the construction of a royal castle on its mm. highest hill, the Red Keep. For 300 years, the Targaryen dynasty stayed strong in the face mm. of rebellion, civil war, and plague. But the line of dragon kings was broken when my father, Ares Targaryen, the second of his name, got was killed. overthrown in rebellion. Oh, no. My father was betrayed and slaughtered by Sir uh. Jamie Lannister. Jamie. His own king's guard. His son and heir, my brother Rhaegar, perished on the field of battle at the hands of Robert Baratheon. Oh, he died. Throne for himself. And so today, the only surviving members of the storied Targaryen dynasty are myself, Prince Viserys, right and my sister, the Andals, and my ruler sister. of the Seven Kingdoms, and my sister, Daenerys. We were spirited away to the free cities of the East by loyalists. Here we have lived in exile ever since. Dreaming of a day when across the narrow sea. Wait, didn't they have dragons though? Oh, they always thought dragons were extinct by then. Yeah. Right? They thought dragons were extinct by then. Robert's, Robert's Rebellion. Rebellion by Robert Baratheon. Ah, let's see, let's see what he says. Rebellion. The crimes of House Targaryen were too heinous to go unanswered. Yes, sir. The noble houses of Baratheon, Stark, and Arryn united to oppose and overthrow the line of the cursed dragon kings while ned stark and aaron secured an alliance with the tullys of river run i called the banners of storm's end and rode out in force against the mad king and his minions damn Gods, those were some battles damn our first victory occurred at summer hall where i faced this is when he was in shape of dragon loyalists and one battles in a single day Three that's day crazy day. seven hells that was a glorious day he was exactly a shooter, how he's been to take Ashford Castle in the reach but the Tyrrells beat us back we had to regroup my army was pursued north by Eris's army and took refuge in the stony sept in the riverlands 
When the Targaryen army entered the town, the sept bells tolled, a signal mm. to the townspeople of the battle that was to come. Mm. As the Targaryens searched from house to house for me, the combined forces of Ned Stark and the Tullys swept into the city. Yeesh. Gods, what a day it was. <laughs> he loves it's fighting. He loves fighting. Yeah, I don't think some, something like a king fits him, though. Yeah, he should just be a warrior, out there just fighting, because that's what he loves to do. battle that would decide the fate of the seven kingdoms occurred at the crossing of the green fork of the trident's river mm. Rhaegar commanded the royal host which was some 40,000 strong 40,000 strong by nearly 5,000 men but that didn't matter <sighs> they were fresh but we were battle hardened and had yes sir as the battle raged they were overpowered by 5,000 men. The stag and the dragon right there in the ford of the river. I fought with the fury of 10 men, raining blow after blow upon that fire. Angle, I did better sound like he was, he's been going crazy. In his chest. I hit him so hard, the rubies on his armor broke free, flinging Jeez. into the stream. They call it the ruby ford now. Damn. With that scum Rhaegar dead and the royal army shattered, our next move was to make for King's Landing. But I'd sustained a few wounds in the battle and was unable to ride. I sent Ned Stark to the capital to face the Mad King and make him pay for his crime. Come on. Bro, why are we seeing Ned Stark's... Okay, we're going Ned through Stark's the story. The Targaryens, Blood of the Dragon, and the last of old Valyria were loved by their subjects and admired far and wide as the greatest dynasty in the history of the Western world. They probably still are, to be fair. The peace and prosperity of nearly three centuries of Targaryen rule was shattered by the usurper, Robert Baratheon, and his band of traitors. House Baratheon owed its very existence to the Targaryens. Was it not Aegon the Dragon himself who elevated the bastard Oris Baratheon in the world? Wow, crazy. Call him a bastard. Starks, the Lannisters, the Aerons of the Vale. All had been spared and allowed to keep their lands when Aegon could easily have wiped them out. Facts. What's about it? He's kind of merciful. The usurper and his lackeys repaid Aegon's benevolence with treachery. I mean, that's what people are not like Aegon, so they even tried that. Allies had reason to rebel. They say the crown prince stole the usurper's lady love. They say my father, King Aerys, murdered Rickard Stark. I mean, that's what happened, though. Mm. Then tell me you're trying to run it. He says, she says. It doesn't matter. The dragon answers to no one. Okay, okay bro. Aerys' good name has been besmirched in the years since the rebellion. He'd been called a dangerous madman, a monster, a tyrant that brought his tragic end upon himself. Lies! My father was a victim of weaklings in his council, black mm -hmm. who failed him in his hour of need and mm. let the rebellion spin out of control. Mm. But it was not enough. The royal army was crushed at the Battle of the Trident. It was there the valiant Rhaegar met Robert in single combat, but the gods betrayed him. Damn. He perished. He lost, bro. <laughs> Just say he lost, man. He got packed up. That's what you have to say. The end of centuries before. The Battle of the Trident seemed to herald the end of the Dragon Kings. When word reached the capital of my brother Rhaegar's death, my father Ares moved to protect me as I was the surviving heir to the throne. Yes, sir. He sent me to the island fortress of Dragonstone, along with my mother, Queen Rayla, who was great with child. Oh. But as my father, my king, Ares Targaryen, prepared to defend his throne to the bitter end, little did he know of the horrors and betrayal that awaited him. Jamie Lannister. Hmm. House Baratheon by Robert Baratheon. Ours is the fury. These are the words of the Black Stag of Baratheon. 
Mm. A battle cry echoed throughout the land in rebellion when I, Robert Baratheon, the first of his name, seized the Iron Throne from the Mad King, Eris Targaryen, ending a dynasty nearly 300 years old. Mm. House Baratheon was born in the Wars of Conquest when Aegon the Dragon invaded Westeros. Now everything is going to talk. Aegon sent his commander, Oris Baratheon, to take Storm's End. Argilac the Arrogant, the last of the Storm Kings, foolishly left the safety of his stronghold and met the Baratheon warlord in open battle. Argilac was soundly defeated. And Oris took his lands, his holdings, and his daughter. Check. Oris was said to be a half-brother to Aegon Targaryen. If this were true, a little blood of the dragon mingled with that of the stag in those days. Uh. The seat of House Baratheon is Storm's End, a legendary keep raised in the Age of Heroes. Okay, so Baratheon Those goes Storm's End. Bay, where legend has it that Durham, the first Storm King, raised the keep with the aid of Bran the Builder of House Stark, forging a centuries-long connection with the Stormlands and the North. Okay. After Aegon's conquest of the Seven Kingdoms, the Baratheons remained loyal enough to the crown while Targaryen kings came and went. Mm. But loyalty has its limits. Mm. When Rhaegar Targaryen, Eris's vile son and heir, abducted Lyanna <laughs> okay, Stark, my betrothed, my beloved, I bro, yeah. you get it. It was time to act. Ah. We raised our banners: Baratheon, Stark, John Arryn, and the Tullys, united in rebellion against Rhaegar and his father, the Mad King. We were victorious and took the Iron Throne. That bit of dragon blood in my veins came in well. Uh -huh. It made me a distant relation to the Targaryen dynasty blood of my long lost ancestor, Oris. The truth of it is, I took it. Mm. I sit on the iron. Throne. Yes, sir. I rule the Seven Kingdoms. Actually, you did it. Uh, keep. Damn. Nobody else. Confidence is crazy. Maester. Robert Baratheon's victory at the Trident was a turning point in the war for the Iron Throne. While it was clear the gods were smiling on the rebel forces, Aerys Targaryen still held the Red Keep at King's Landing. He did. As Robert was wounded and unable to ride, it was up to Eddard Stark to make for the capital and force the Mad King to give up the throne. Lord Stark reached the city gates to find that Tywin Lannister Lord of Casterly Rock had already sacked the city in Robert's name. Yeah. House Lannister had remained neutral up to this point, ignoring requests for help from both the Crown and the rebels. Mm. Mm. Now that Robert's eventual victory was assured, it seemed Lord Tywin had finally chosen his side. Mm. Lord Eddard was horrified by what he saw when he entered the city. Homes looted and burned, women raped, scores yeah, of crazy. Disgusted, he led his force up Visenya's hill to the Red Keep. Upon entering the throne room, he found King Aerys lying in a pool of blood. Dead Jeez. by the hand of his own sworn king's guard, Jamie, Jamie Lannister, who sat brazenly yeah, he's, the he's the one up. Look at the way he's sitting on the throne with the sword on the side. Lord Eddard was informed the queen and her son Viserys had been spirited away to Dragonstone before the Lannisters arrived. But other members of the royal family were not as fortunate. Okay. Elia Martell of Dawn, who was the wife of Prince Rhaegar, had been raped and murdered by Sir Grigor Clegane. Damn. Of Tywin's orders. Sir Grigor and his man had also butchered Rhaegar's young children. When Damn. Robert was well enough to reach the capital, Lord Eddard demanded the Lannisters' answer for their heinous crimes. Robert refused and sent him south to relieve the Baratheon stronghold of Storm's End, which was still under siege by forces loyal to the crown. Hmm. Whatever words passed between the two old oh. friends are known only to them. But Lord Eddard is said to have left King's Landing in anger. Later, when Robert was crowned, he appointed John Eyre in his hand of the king. Lord That's the guy that got killed. Of business was to broker a truce with the Martells of Dawn. Were outraged by the brutal murder of 
Princess Elia with her children. Following the death of Lyona Stark, who had been betrothed to Robert, Houses Baratheon and Lannister were joined in marriage when the new king oh, that's Cersei. in Lannister's eldest yeah. daughter, mm. Cersei, as his queen. Yeah. As for Eddard Stark, he returned to his stronghold of Winterfell, mm. forever haunted by his sister's death okay. and the shameful way when Robert secured his throne. Buzz. Is that shameful though? I mean, I think it's the way the Lannisters did. They they do are never crazy. To succeed, King's Landing had to be taken forcefully. No one was foolish. Who's this speaking? Robert. Robert. His crown over uh, Baratheon. The Mad King's reign needed to end. What Tyrion Lannister's forces did was unfortunate, but it was necessary to secure the Iron Throne and bring peace and justice to the Seven Kingdoms. My glorious victory at the Trident left me wounded, but I sent my personal maester to attend to Sir Barristan Selmy instead. His wounds were more severe. Even though Sir Barristan was a member of Eris's King's Guard and fought on the opposing side, that man's bravery and loyalty was something to behold. Hmm. But this meant my wounds would take longer to heal and I couldn't ride to King's Landing myself. I sent the one man I trusted over anyone else in this world, Ned Stark, in mm. my place. Come on. And he came. Had I been able to ride, perhaps I could have reached King's Landing sooner and prevented some of the violence that occurred when the Lannisters entered the city. That's Still, crazy. What Lord Tywin did was for the greater good. Damn. Okay, so he doesn't really care. To Princess Elia and her children. Babies or no, theirs was the same cursed blood that flowed within the Mad King's Sorry. veins. They were dragon spawn and couldn't mm. be allowed to survive. Sorry. What would they go to be? Loyal subjects. Ned with his damn northern honor. Yeah. <laughs> He finna be judging him. That's what packed him up in the end, anyways. He's always hit on the Lannisters. That's crazy. Instead, I sent Ned Stark south to finish off the remaining Targaryen loyalists. It was only Lyanna Stark's death that reconciled us. Ned had lost his sister. I had lost, now my, lost my wife. Mm. He actually loved her. That's crazy. Sat bond together, Ned and I. Through it, our friendship was made strong again. Mm -hmm. As for the Mad King's surviving. Those that were able to scurry away in the face of my fury now live somewhere across the narrow sea. Mm -hmm. They had best stay there. If they ever set foot in Westeros, what are you gonna do? I wipe them out. Face the king's justice. Of course. The sack of king. Sack of King's Landing. Rhaegar Targaryen lay dead on the banks of the Trident. His royal army shattered and in retreat. The days of the Dragon Kings were clearly numbered. Until that moment, it would have been foolish to permit Casterly Rock to either the Crown or the Rebellion. Mm. What would our family have to gain in supporting a raving madman? Or in entering a crusade to put Robert Baratheon on the Iron Throne? But chaos benefits no one. It was time for House Lannister to do what it could to ensure a return of peace and prosperity. Oh, so he, he just wanted peace. I, Tywin Lannister, brought 10,000 Lannister troops to the gates of King's Landing in order to bring the bloodshed to a quick and decisive conclusion. Bruce has said, I'm kidding everyone. had been sending ravens for months, begging for my support to end the uprising. In a way, his pleas had been answered. As I had suspected, Ares opened the city gates and welcomed my men. Our plan was clear. Crush Ares' remaining bannermen and remove the remnants of the royal family as quickly and efficiently as possible. Any alternative meant years of further war 
and a fragmented seven kingdoms. Yeah. Our means were bloody, but, but the results speak for themselves. Mm. Hey, fair enough. So As basically, the only one that doesn't agree is Ned. He met his fate at the hands of my son. Ares had kept Jamie close during the rebellion, thinking himself clever when keeping my son as a hostage, should I decide to pledge support to the rebel cause. This proved to be his greatest mistake. For when the time came, Jamie did his duty as a Lannister sure. and drove his sword into the Mad King's back. Oh, wow. With that, Robert Baratheon's crown was secure. The new king recognized our role in his ascension to the throne, mm. just as he recognized how useful the might and riches of Castle Rock would be mm -hmm. if he wanted to keep it. Yes, sir. To that end, I offered my daughter Cersei as his queen. Had Ares not spurned this same offer years earlier, perhaps things would have worked out differently. Damn. Robert also, it was offered before. Mm -hmm. Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, it was a new day. The dragon was vanquished, and the Seven Kingdoms would thereafter belong to the Stag and the Lion. <laughs> the Battle of the Tridents may have been an important victory for the Usurper. But it was the treachery and barbarism of Tywin Lannister that sealed mm. the fate of the Targaryen dynasty. Mm. My father, King Ares, had ever been a friend to the Lions of the Rock. Damn. Ares graciously brought Tywin to court, making him the youngest hand of the king in history. Damn. He gave him power. He gave him respect. Stop. He made it possible for Tywin to restore House Lannister to glory. Nah. Ares and Tywin governed side by side for 20 prosperous years. 20 is crazy though. Still, when the usurper called his banners in rebellion, Tywin Lannister ignored his king's pleas for help and stayed holed up in his stronghold of Casterly Rock. In time, my brother, Prince Rhaegar, was dead. The realm was in turmoil and the usurper's forces were said to be riding the king's land. What a glorious sight it must have been when a force of 10,000 Lannister men showed up at the gate of the capital with Lord Tywin at their head, hmm. pledging support to his beleaguered king. He, he betrayed him too. Gates for his old friend. Instead, Lannister and his men proceeded to plunder and Crazy. destroy the city that he had They betrayed as well. As the capital was ravaged and its people terrorized, Jamie Lannister, son of Lord Tywin, proved every bit as treacherous. Mm -hmm. He killed my father, the king, at the foot of the Iron Throne. The Lannisters entered the Red Keep and Tywin ordered the deaths of the rest of the royal family. Shit. It is said Princess Rhaenys was found cowering under her father's bed, Dumb. put to the sword. Dumb. She was only a child. Child. That's crazy. As for Rhaegar's widow, Elia, she was forced to watch as Lannister thugs dashed her baby son's head against the Yo. wall. Yo, oh my days. And murdered herself. What? As I was the heir to my father's throne, I had been spirited away to Dragonstone with my mother, Queen Rayla. They should have taken more people with, him, with mm. them. As a raging summer storm battered the island fortress and destroyed the Targaryen fleet as it lay at anchor. My sister, Daenerys, was born. Mm. My mother, the queen, died. Did they make it? Death. Yeah. Now, some 17 years later, the rightful king still lives in exile. Well, we know he's packed up, so he don't really I live. You are dead, my boy. I'm sorry. You bro. are dead, buddy. Mountains of the moon, standing high above the rich lands of the Vale, stands the Eyrie, a storied and impregnable fortress, said to have been built by the legendary mountain kings 
in the age of heroes. So which one is this one? It this is where um, Catelyn's sister lives, I think. Mm. One of the oldest noble families in Westeros. But is that his sister's one? The They're sister's one? Children. Yeah. A soaring falcon. With the Present son that likes to <laughs> yeah. the way the weird guy. High as honor. The heirs are from Bryce. Oh no, actually doesn't get you anyway, man. That's all behind this. Hmm? Oh no, doesn't get you anyway, bro. Sir Artis Aaron, known hmm? as the Wing. Oh no, doesn't get you anywhere. Soared through the yeah. sky atop a giant doesn't. falcon, landing on the peak of the highest mountain where he defeated the Griffin King in battle. It was the Andor's first great victory over the First Men, and Sir Artis was duly rewarded. He was declared King of the Mountain and the Vale, okay. and the region was renamed the Vale of Erin. Okay. Thousands of years later, Aegon the Conqueror arrived in Westeros. Yeah, he packed up everything. Right. Look at his yeah, dragon. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, bro just bent the knee, fair enough. the control of the region. Bro just bent the knee. Bro just did to like say, okay, just just say I'm I'm better than you. Remain loyal to the Targaryen dynasty until Lord John Arryn joined with houses Baratheon and Stark in rebellion against Mad King Aerys. Hmm. Upon winning the Iron Throne, Robert named Lord John Hand of the King. Position he held until his mysterious death. Mm -hmm. Mysterious, you know. Some house Lannister. On the far western coast of the continent, high atop a rocky promontory overlooking the sunset, Casterly Rock sits Casterly Rock, ancestral seat of House Lannister. Below it lies Lannisport, one of the great cities of Westeros, the center for trade, culture. And the great Lannister fleet. Mm. There are a number of gold and silver mines in the west of Land, making it the richest region in all of Westeros. No wonder these men are loaded. Mines lies <laughs> beneath Casterly Rock itself, making House Lannister the wealthiest of all the noble houses. No wonder. We got that money. So House Lannister to finance many endeavors of other noble houses. Even the king himself has sought credit from Castle. Yeah, because they can just borrow people. They have money. They can just borrow people money. Claim our descent from the Andor invaders and through the female bloodline, Lan the Clever. According to the legend, Lan using only his wits won Castle Rock from the noble house of Castle during mm. the Age of Heroes. Mm. The Lannisters reigned as kings of the rock for thousands of years. And worked to make it the envy of the rest of the Seven Kingdoms. Yes, sir. Our time as kings ended, however, when Aegon Targaryen, otherwise known as Aegon the, the Conqueror, Conqueror, arrived in Westeros with his army. Ouch. The last king of the Rock, King Lorin Lannister, joined forces with King Mern Gardner, the king of the Reach. And still Bro, they had no chance, man. Sixty thousand men. They met the Targaryen host. In That's when he lost three man. dragons, bro. History tells us that Aegon unleashed all three of his dragons, slaughtering 4,000 men at what came to be known as the Field of Fire. Damn. Hmm. King Mern himself was burned alive that day, and House Gardner turned to ash with him. That's crazy. Seeing both the threat and opportunity, the Targaryens represented, Lorin wisely surrendered and aided Aegon in his further conquest of Westeros. The Lannisters were thus appointed Lords Paramount of the Westerlands and Wardens of the West, mm. titles we hold to this day. Mm. Let us be clear, it is neither luck nor royal favor that makes our house prosperous. There have been times in our history where some have thought us weak, Lazy or opulent. So what? What is it? My father, Titus Lannister, nearly bankrupted our house with his poor investments. Hmm. That's funny. And allowed himself to be mobbed openly at court. That's funny. When our vassal, the reigns of Castamere, dared to rise up against the Lannisters, they learned how dangerous it can be to taunt a lion. I, Tywin Lannister, led the assault on Castamere to put down okay. the rebellion. I made an example of them to anyone who 
gods are on my Come on. Yes, sir. They even made a quaint song about the fates of the reigns of Castile. Besides, hardly there are no reigns left to give it. Mm. Today, I said he packed them all up. Lannister is rightly admired and feared throughout mm. the Southern Kingdoms. Mm. Our words are, hear me roar. Really? I thought it was, I thought it was that Lannister pays his debt or some shit. A Lannister always pays his debt. Oh, there we go. Starks of Winterfell traced their descent to the first men in the Age of Heroes. The family's founder was Brandon the Builder, who, in the aftermath of the Long Night, that's the one that joined up with someone else. Legend has it he enlisted the aid of giants and the powerful magic of the children of the forest to mm. raise the mighty wall, which has protected the realm. I was about to say, humans can't build that. He went on to build the ancestral seat of Winterfell. He said giants. So the I think so. Yeah, that to get giants and magic. This is Rob. Mm. As the southern kingdoms fell and the children of the forest were driven away, the north stood strong, maintaining its religious customs and its way of life. Eventually, the reign of the kings of winter came to an end with the coming of Aegon the Conqueror. After Aegon and his dragons destroyed the combined armies of the Reach and the Rock, the mm. fire. Mm. King Tolan Stark bent the knee and swore fealty to the Targaryen. Of course. <laughs> Why would he not bend the knee? The destruction of Winterfell. Do you get what I mean? He was forever after known as the King of the Yelt. Mm. But that's the stupid though. That's he knelt for good reason, bro. Bro, you have to kneel down. The Starks take great pride yes, dragon. in history and traditions. It is one of the few noble houses that still keeps the old gods. Sacred Weirwood tree looms large in Winterfell's Godswood. Its ancestral sword, ice, was forged in ancient Valeria and has been passed down through the generations. Mm. Nice. How Stark remains steadfast in its support of the Night's Watch, even as the once illustrious order has fallen on hard times. Yeah. Much like their sigil, the Great Isle, how Stark is the stuff of legend in the north and throughout the Seven Kingdoms. Why? And their family words, winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Wait, what's going on? I'm just going to remember winter is coming. But. Yeah. That was it, man. Chill, 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 chill. Okay. But, yeah. Winter is coming. The chill. Trying to show season two, we haven't even watched it. But yeah, that was the end of the reaction to um, the history and lore of season one um, in full HD, as Rafa says. Um, that was interesting, man. Yeah. It, it was you good. Like you get a lot, a lot more. Of names um, that we know. So now we know about Ares properly. We know about um, Aegon, Rhaegar, Aegon the Conqueror, Aegon the Conqueror. Uh, obviously, we know that the, the um, Daenerys and um, Viserys. Yeah, they told us a lot about the houses. What's well. that nigga name? Varys. Viserys. Viserys. Bro, Boris. Viserys. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't. I don't care. But yeah, now we know about the names. Um, and there's also like. We learn about it's weird the, like, the old gods. And it the all old happened gods. because um, what's his name? V Viserys. No, not Viserys. Who's the, what's the other bro? Older name? Rhaegar. The one that took Lyanna. Yeah, Rhaegar is the one that took Lyanna. Yeah. 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 The he took Lyanna. He's the one who started, and, that, and he caused all this trouble. Because in theory, the the Targaryens would still be uh, sitting on the throne, right? Uh, but no. to be fair, like what's Mad his name King was moving a bit. Ares was moving a bit iffy. I feel like the Mad King would have done something dumb. Like you think that he would have done something to deserve, yeah, death anyway. That deserve for him to pack, get packed up. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he was. He was just, like, I feel like the the tax were already like planning something. Mm. Hopefully. Yeah, um, he was moving reckless, man. They, 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 they. He got what he deserved. I'm sorry. He 
You can't do that to the stats and them are crazy, man. They would have definitely did something, man. I would have been there with my yo shirt and that. Yeah. But yeah, I say burn but, them. Yeah, um, we basically saw, and we obviously saw that there's actually apparently there's giants, and the children got magic. Is it, is it children have magic or something? Past tense. There was giants. was giants, whatever. But there was also there also were dragons. But yeah, and there were mermaids and unicorns. So. Okay, so come on. What has that got to do? No, with but we saw now? dragons. We didn't see unicorns. Don't try that. Don't patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't patronize me, nigga. They did say mermaids, but, though. I ain't gonna lie. So am I the mermaids. They did say mermaids. That's crazy. How would you even... Don't... Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't even... even think about don't it, even... No. No, but deep it, though. Like, let's say you Next bend... Next question. Hey, man. Let's hey, just keep it pushing, bro. They got a mouth. They got yeah, one that... job. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Just joke, 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 joke. Okay, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, that is the end of our reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before you leave us, always share it if you like. Leave a comment in the comments down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what we missed. We kind of understood basically everything that happened. We got the gist. No, not the gist. We actually understood everything that happened. Um, we just want to know if there's any suggestions that you want from us in terms of the uh, online things, uh, online reactions, because we do. This is our first time doing it, but I can't lie. I think it went well. Um, obviously that's what I think you guys can say that you went ass if you say went ass make it like some sort of constructive criticism make mm. you some suggestions don't just say look it was ass because if it was if you just say it was ass I'm gonna do the same thing again but um, yeah it was good uh, but yeah apart from that um, we will see you next time